everybody, Hayes here with the Alive Dev Team, and I'm here today to create a quick tutorial on creating a simple mission from scratch. Before we get started, I'm going to assume that you have a little bit of editor know-how. If not, YouTube and Bohemia forums are a great utility for finding more information on basic editor navigation. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So something that I like to do first is I like to place down a single unit, man, NATO, make him the player. We're going to leave the name blank, we're just going to hit OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here, I'm going to create a Zeus Game Master. Sometimes you'll have unofficial add-ons on, you can check this box. Now this isn't a requirement, this is something I do when I'm setting up a mission, and it's something nice to be able to see and debug with. Next, let's go back into modules, and let's place down our first module. First module I start with is the live required module. We're going to set debug to no, and leave everything else the way it is. Next, we're going to place the player options. We're going to leave debug on no. We're going to leave persistence the way it is. We'll set crew to the left side, and we don't need player tags. After that's done, let's move on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually place the profiler, and that's now named the Alive Virtual AI System. We're going to leave debug off. We're going to change these parameters to 1200. Let's make the spawn radius 800. And we're not going to spawn any planes around. Active profiles, let's change this to 40. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the civilian modules. We're going to do the emplacement first. We're going to do the entire map, so we're going to go ahead and leave the uh, TAOR marker blank. We're not going to ignore any objects, since this is a smaller map. We'll leave it on low, and we'll go ahead and give some low ambient vehicles. Sometimes the modules will group together. Go ahead and remove the group, and move on. Next, we're going to go in here, and we're going to go to civilian population. We're going to change these to a little bit lower. Let's go 600. We're not going to be doing any maneuvers on them, or sniping them, therefore you don't really need a good distance on creation for them. Let them do their thing, let them do it closer. Save the CPU. We're going to make the active limiter 20, because I don't want it to get out of hand. Blue 4 hostility, let's say we're attacking them, let's change it to high. Next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and do the weather module. We'll do this off to the side, and we'll select it here. We'll leave the debug on no, and we'll change the weather climate to Mediterranean. Now that we have what I like to call the core modules placed, let's go ahead and move on to the military modules. First thing we need to do is we need to create two markers. I'm going to start out by trying to find a good distance. We'll name this first one West. I'm going to start out by going 2,000 by, let's go 4,000. That actually looks like a good distance. I'm going to go West, and I'm going to go ahead and make that blue. That's not a requirement, that's something I like to do personally. Take the West marker, copy it over, and we'll go ahead and rename this one East and change it to red. Move it in just a little bit further. Perfect. We'll zoom in here. We'll go back to modules. And we'll place down our first module. It'll be Military AI Commander. Leave Debug also on No. We'll leave Persistence off for this tutorial, and I'll create another tutorial explaining the database and persistence later. Moving on, we got control type. We're going to have west as the invaders. We'll leave this as constant. NATO. And we're not doing any override factions. That's for another tutorial as well. Now that that's placed, let's go ahead and populate the map. We're going to create a civ objective. Marker is going to be the west. 
We're going to make this just a company of 100. We'll add a new feature, which is the row box. Keep them on low. And we're going to change this to the force we're using, which is BLU underscore F. Because this is Stratus and it is a smaller map, we do not have to filter out smaller objectives. So let's populate the entire thing. Hit OK. Next, we'll create the other module, which is Military Objective. Also West, 100. Now this has the chance of having camps. We'll set those to medium. Blue. And we'll have medium amount of ambient vehicles. There's also other options you may notice in those modules. Feel free to explore. This is just a basic tutorial on creating a simple mission. Go ahead and synchronize those to the AI commander. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy, find our marker location, and paste. Now this doesn't have to be anywhere particular, I just like to place it over on this side. We're going to take the AI commander, we're going to go into it, we're going to change it to CASAT, leave the control type, actually we'll change that to occupation. They're going to be the ones controlling the island. After that we'll hit OK, go into here, change the marker to east, leave all the settings the same. Change this to OP F underscore F for op for. We're gonna do the same thing here. Change this to east. Go into here. Change this to op for. Now that we have these basic modules set up, we're gonna go ahead and synchronize this military objective to the NATO military AI commander. I'm gonna do the same thing to the civilian objective to the NATO Military AI Commander. This will define all of these objectives as places for this AI Commander to send troops. We're going to do the same thing for NATO. We're going to take the NATO Civ, drag it to the OP4 Military AI Commander. Military. Now that we have both those done, let's move on to the Advanced Module which is going to be logistics. We're going to set that to 10,000. Leave debug on no. And we'll leave everything else the way it is there. Place that. Synchronize it to the military AI commander. Do the same thing for the other side. Place it. It grouped. We'll remove the group. Exchange it with a sync. Sync to the AI commander. Alright, one last thing we'll do is we'll create some CQB units and finish off the mission and give it a test. Probability, we'll change it to 10, eh, we'll leave it at 5% this one. Density, we'll change it to high. We're going to do solos. We're going to do 800. Faction. Um, Let's just do it for the enemy faction. So we're actually going to define a marker as east. We'll make it so it spawns with helis, and we'll leave jets also at zero. We'll take this marker, and just for aesthetic reasons, we'll go ahead and drag it over here, but we won't synchronize it with anything. After that's complete, there's one last marker, one last module that I like to place on the marker, I apologize. And that's going to be the military AI skill. We're going to create custom skill. We're going to define OPF underscore F and blue underscore F. And we already have basic um, parameters set here for you. Um, you can change them how you like, or you can use the white predefined ones up above. We're going to go ahead and use these here. Add those in. Now that we have everything basic placed, I'm going to go ahead and click preview. Alright, and now that we have spawned in, 
You'll notice that units have been generated in front of us, so that gives me a clue that everything is working fine. But we'll go ahead and we'll hit our Alive key. This will bring up our Alive menu. If you don't have a key, you can define it in your options. Go to Admin Actions. We're going to enable Ghosting, Teleporting, CQB, Profiles, and Civilian Debug. Once you have those activated, we're going to go ahead and open our Map key. And you'll see that units have been generated and are showing up below. Units that are currently active and not being profiled will show up in full color. Those of which are currently being profiled and are not active will show up with some opacity to them. You can be, see that CQB units are spawned here using the CQB debug. And the small squares show that these are civilian houses. The civilians will spawn there. Let's go ahead and go to our map out of our map, hit our Y key for Zeus, and let's take a look. That looks like we're forward on the battlefield, and everything is spawning in. We have a truck moving in here, forward, and it looks like we have a um, checkpoint. So we have a small little battle here. Looks like there was another truck, possibly Strider moving in. They are no more. So we got a nice little battle going and raging there already. Small troop here, defending. Moving back towards the base. So, looks like we got another checkpoint here. Fantastic. And that is manned with the garrison troop. You can see that civilians are spawning in via the purple here. They do have a little bit more AI programming to them, and during certain times they have different activities. There currently looks like they are garrisoned in their houses. We'll come back here forward, and I'll go ahead and sign off here. Um, that was uh, creating a basic mission. I'm going to be creating more tutorials um, in the future, so uh, make sure you stay tuned on our channel, subscribe, and uh, keep rocking.